Welcome to another Age of Empires 4 casted game. We got in the color orange playing as the Japanese. It's he playing against, which we don't know who he is. We just know he's extremely good at, at this game. So we're gonna see what he can show us this match. And in the color purple playing as the Malians. It's uh, I can only read Billy Billy there. So his Chinese said Tsubitsusa. Welcome everybody, how are you doing? We got a special matchup today, it's the Malians against the Japanese. We don't see these very often. Malians, um, a very very good civilization. I, I saw the Michael Jackson animation here. Uh, Malians are very very good civilizations. Uh, so let's see how they deal with the Japanese. Uh, Japanese already opening with a dock here. Remember the Japanese have when it comes to the docks, um, the fishing boats, they cost, I think they cost 45 or 47, uh, almost half. So it's, it is 45, it is 45. So it, it is uh, quite an advantage you can have as the Japanese. You can just put like four fishes, fishing ships here. And you know, there's only two ponds. You may think it's not a big deal, but it's, you're talking about 1000 foot resources that you can get in the map. And if you have control over this, you can potentially have 4,000 foot resources. Now, the problem with this is like, of course, it's very risky, right? And like anything risky, like you, you, your opponent can come here and just deny your water. Now, we don't see the Malians going, going to invest on that just because while it will give you a slight advantage, it's not like a game changer. Uh, but in the high level, of course, you want to get any advantage you can against the other opponent. Otherwise, uh, you know, against a player that is that good, you want to have even the slightest advantage can count in your favor on to win. Now we don't see any like opening with the stone for the Japanese, meaning he won't go for a fast second down center, at least just yet. We already see the pit mine nice and safe in the back. You can even just close wall this off and you should be very pretty good to go. Malians are already aging up with the Mansa Quarry with five villagers. Standard stuff, Mansa Quarry, get nice gold, passive gold from the pit mines and you're, you're pretty good to go. Meanwhile, when it comes to the Japanese, he's gonna age up with the Kure Storehouse. Pretty fast age up and also contesting the water. Uh, very, that's pretty cool. Very cool, meaning he has 1,000 foot resources already safe for him. He's going for a stone, meaning he will go for a second town center. Most likely, his opponent will go for a cow boom. We're starting to see the meal probably because he will go for a cow boom uh, as fast uh, as soon as possible. Meaning he won't be in a second town center, but he will have like passive food income, passive gold income, and may he may it may seem that like he's behind on the villager department, but in reality, uh, he's having a lot of passive income. So you're gonna really. Tell he uh, like do not be misled by his villager numbers. He is gonna have a really good eco behind if he doesn't get harassed. But let's see if the Japanese actually go for some harassment at the beginning. Feudal age already for the Malians. Gonna get a nice early wheelbarrow to boost the economy. I have a lot of villagers on wood. I'm, I'm putting the number of villagers you have for the match, just so that you can see the build orders of these two players. It's always a good practice. Like if you want to improve, check how many villagers they have. See, because how many villagers you have in a specific resource means that you will support any kind of a strategy you have in mind. In his case, it may be it may be the cow bomb, and in that case, like okay, ten villagers on wood. 5 on gold, 4 on foot, and I should be good to go. You see, Towara, Towara already being researched 
for the Japanese. It's gonna be in the house here. There you go. And in a, a little wheelbarrow there. Now, for some reason, the Japanese upgrades don't show up here. So it's a, it's a bug. Uh, uh, so he should, he should have some upgrades, or at least he has a wheelbarrow. We don't see any other upgrade here. Now he has enough stone. Is he gonna upgrade the town center or going for a second town center himself? Looks like he's gonna go for a second town center. Uh, looks like this looks like a very decent spot. Has two gold veins, one stone. Should be in a very good spot if he puts it here. And anyway, it's gonna it's gonna be in the front protecting his front gold. Uh, not a bad choice actually, because you can also actually wall this off, forcing your opponent to just go another way. So that's uh, actually a pretty good choice. How many villagers you have here? Seven villagers for building the town center. It's gonna be on the goals, probably. Are, are we gonna see a, a Onamugeisha, Onamugeisha Samurai Rush? On the Malians, already there with the cow boom, already sitting with five cows. How many cows you can have in total? Uh, I can't remember how many. Must like a, well, around twenty, right? Looks like he will lack some space here. Can can you put the the landmark here? I have a suspicion that uh, I, I hope he can. I think he can build a llama here. But can can he put more more cattle? I, I think so. I think he can put a, a couple here. More walls coming for the Malian player. Meanwhile, more cows will be researched. Uh, there you go. Twenty cows. Twenty cows. So it's gonna be the barracks here. Two barracks in the back of his base. Uh, very smart coming from him. I just saw a game where, you know, the opponent had the barracks in front of his base and when the army comes, they just destroy his military production and then he has no reinforcements to defend. Always a good idea to, to put your military production on the back. So some theories that if you put it at front, then you will have less time going to, into your enemy base, which is to totally fine. It will greatly depend on the match and we see the first military units already being created it's gonna be the onabugeisha and going for the malians it's gonna be the pro scouts uh sorry the yeah the professional scouts carry sorry warrior scouts not professional so he's gonna he's gonna get either he he will want to get those those deer here or he will try to harass with some scouts there you go warrior scouts seven damage compared to his opponent were only has one damage yeah only one damage there you go and these units only cost food so they're pretty pretty cheap pretty cheap you see also warriors interesting choice i'm gonna be able to deal with the onabugeisha here and we start to see some action at the beginning Now let's see how the Onabugeishas deal with the scout. The problem is the scout can kill himself. The problem is, okay, now you deal damage, and then now what? It will heal, so... It's a, it's a really hard unit to deal with. It's gonna be more barracks coming for the Malian player. Actually a very smart choice, in case your opponent goes Samurai, you can have the Musafari Warriors. But I, I believe that's Catalyst, right? Now, this Warrior Scout's actually gonna be doing qu quite a good damage against this Onabugacious. It's like the Scout goes down, look at the DPS of this thing, it's super high. And with that, got the Malian, but the first player aging up to the Catalyst. It's gonna be with a Grand Fulani Coral. Gonna be sitting in a really nice eco in the back of his face. Very safe. Very safe. I, I like I like this match. I like I, I like what I'm seeing here. On Abugacious already hitting on the pit mine. Remember, as anytime you can you, you, if you have the 
opportunity to attack the pit mine, do so because the Malians will get a lot of gold from it. And now we see the houses being burned. Malians not having enough reinforcements to deal with this harassment at the moment. We see plus one attack, plus one armor for the Japanese. And now we see better and javelin throwers being researched and better and sofa war sofa. So looks like he's gonna let this pit mine go. And on the meantime, he will get some resources here. It's already 10 minutes into the game. Let's check the income here. 1000 foot per minute for the Japanese. Uh, very have a very nice farm set up already thanks to the Kura storehouse walling himself all the way all the way to the north of the map and he decides to go back now he has a quite a big army actually this unabogacious 17 of them can be quite uh, quite dangerous especially for raiding like he managed to go here like the problem is this these spearmen are actually slowing down the unabogacious he could potentially try to enter into this area of the map but he will try to just burn burn the wall now we see the javelin throwers already on the field villagers will start repairing this it's gonna take a while but looks like the wall will go down but the javelin throwers going there you go yeah one of has got scared now and now japanese aging up to castle really soon it's gonna be the floating gate no surprise here so far no relics contested for malian player Sitting, sitting in only one pit mine. It's a very nice base here. Now we see a lot of unabogations here. Interesting choice. He, he's not mixing with any kind of samurai. It's just pure unabogation. And looks like they're gonna get dented by the javelin throwers. But the numbers seem to be favor the Japanese sent a couple of unabogations to check the army and indeed he says there's a lot of archers here a lot of javelin throwers sofa warriors sorry just sofa <laughs> I always mix them with Musafati warriors and talking about Musafati warriors we're gonna see better Musafati warriors joining the scene gonna be able to deal very nicely with the samurais in case the Japanese player decides to create some samurais we're gonna see better unabogations going here for the Japanese but the problem is his opponent already attacking him he don't want to lose as many as units as possible that but the problem is he should just sacrifice the spearman and you know these unabogations are really fast it's just because the spearmen are there they're, they're running much much slower Now let's check into the Japanese base. Nice farm setup here. So far, no upgrade for the Daimyo Manor. N not into a Daimyo Palace yet. Now we see 1.2k foot per minute for the Malians thanks to the to the cow boom. Thanks to all the cows that he has there. Looks like there is going to be a raid here. Uh, Japan is going to be forced to go back to his base, losing access to berries. Luckily for him, he's, he's already with a good farm setup. Set up. They're already sitting in 22 farms. More sofa warriors coming here. Looks like this outpost is going to go down. Pit mine already being taken. Uh, again, looks like another pit mine. May get constructed here. Horseman for the Japanese. Trying to do some harassment. 
and the sofas are inside the base and while the sofas are here meanwhile the infantry units are fighting in this area of the map so there's not much units here to defend just a bunch of spearmen but the sofa warriors are <laughs> sofas are so annoying now town center are gonna do uh pretty nice damage against those compared to regular town centers and the gold, it's empty now. He need to go to another gold vein. Probably this one is quite safe, to be honest. And looks like the Malian's army gets cleaned up. More Onabugeishas here. Now a Japanese gonna be able to more, must it's forced to play on defense at the moment. Otherwise, he, he cannot go do any kind of harassment. Looks like the Malians have the map control now. They're forcing the narrative into fighting inside your base. You don't go to my base, I go to your base. That's exactly what you want. It looks like uh, he can take down this wall, but. It's losing a lot of time taking down the gate, where whereas this wall already has half HP. It doesn't matter because now the reinforcements arrive. There's a huge army already, 57 military. Now let's see how the Japanese will be able to defend this. Uh, so far, Warriors mm, are still going to be very tanky against this town center. Will he be able, be able to take this town center? Remember, it's not upgraded, so it's very squishy and no villagers inside whatsoever, meaning he can take this town center at any moment. The last villager gets out just by a second. And with that, the Japanese will lose the eco advantage they had. Sofas. A, a combination of sofa, javelin throwers, musufari warriors. You got everything here. Archers. It's like how you can how you can beat this. Then now we see that the response is gonna be the Magonel. Now looks like that model almost goes down. The Spearman will do a very nice job against those Sofa, but the Sofa Warriors are already taking a lot of villager kills here. 15 in total in favor for the Malians. Javelin Throwers doing a nice job dealing with those infantry units from the back. But looks like somehow Japanese still holding on. Onabugeisha is doing a really good job actually, and the Magonel still alive, dealing a lot of damage to the Malian army. Two Magonel are ready for the Japanese. Looks like the main force of the military, it's gone. Or looks like the, the Magonel will go down. Managed to leave by a second. Oh my god. This Magonel did wonders here and now he just needs to clean the javelin throwers. That's all he needs to do. Meanwhile, more infantry units coming to the base, not letting your opponent breathe for a second. Meanwhile, on the back, Japanese getting some relics. Already sitting one relic. It's always nice if you can have something going in the background while all this chaos is going into your base. At least you can have something going on working somewhere else. That's, that's the key here. And looks like a very, very well defense coming from the Japanese. Very, very nice defense. Looks like the Malians. Wow, that, that he lost a lot of resources there, and the damage was um, the the damage was there. The damage was there. We have we're talking about sixty four villagers, 
for the Malians and 63 for the Japanese, meaning that the eco advantage is now on the Malian side, just because they have the Kabul, they have the passive gold from the pit mines, so they should be in a very good position. The problem is, how can you push into the Japanese base? Are we seeing a Shogunate castle coming soon? Not anytime soon. Now, a couple of sprinkles could have made the difference here. Now, Malians lost his army, but already sitting in 61 army population. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna get these villagers. Japanese manage to get out of the place just in time. Meanwhile, more raids coming on the Malian side. It's like siege workshop. It's gonna get built here. Exactly what he needs to get those sprinkles. Now more Spearman of an abrogation composition for the Japanese. Are we sitting with two Magonels? Magonels, it's what is saving him at the moment, but now the Springle is, is coming. And with that, there is a high chance the Japanese lose the Magonel. And you have you, you're talking about 64 military military numbers. 7k, almost 8k army value there for the Malians, whereas 3.8k for the Japanese. He's playing, he's playing very defensively. That looks like <laughs> he can manage to, to get insight from, from this area of the map. More relics coming for the Japanese. So far, no relic for the Malian player. Such a loss of opportunity here. Your opponent has been stuck in his base for all this time. You could have gone for the relics easily without being contested. Now the Malians dealing with 92 military units. Sitting with one Springle, two more to come. More and more units coming from this Malian player. Like this one single unit is gonna take down the forge. Now Japanese cannot leave his army from his main base. He knows he will attack from here. And if he gets into the base, it's GG. And it's a high chance that he will try to do that. Already sitting with three sprinkles, no sprinkles for for the Japanese, meaning uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to deal with those. Now right coming from the south side of the map. Gold income not looking go, go good for the Japanese. Now see nice Magonel shot. Actually three shots there. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage here. And now the army will come. Springles in the back. Sofas getting inside, but they're just gonna get tented by the number of the spearmen. It's gonna make some samurais here. Yeah, indeed, these are samurais spearmen composition. Meanwhile, also mounted samurais on the mix here. Units are everywhere here. Springles not in the range of dealing with the Magonels and with that the Springles will go down against those mounted Samurais with three Magonels here he's gonna lose all his army with the three shots Springles managed to get a shot of the Magonel but still two more to go army numbers looking good for Japanese already two Magonels doing doing God's, God's job now. And now, the table's turn. 
Now this Magonel is doing so much damage. And these Mosfari Warriors are really uh, squishy when it comes to range armor. And now we see the melee infantry that the Japanese stream is on abogations with Samurais and Spearmen dealing with everything. That's, that's all you need. Now, for the first time, military numbers in favor of the Japanese. Beautiful defense coming from he play against. Now the Malin player will be forced to go out and looks like this Siege Workshop may go down potentially. So far, no keeps have been placed into the map, meaning Japanese will be able to spend as long as he has his army here. Food income looking really nice for Japanese now. This is where the farm economy starts to boost. And where the cow boom starts starts to, you know, it's a ca it's capped. So you, you need to go farms eventually with the Malians in the late game. The Malians losing a lot of army here. Look at that destroy value. 17k compared to 24. More relics coming for the Japanese. It's gonna be the third one. Capturing sacred sites looks like Japanese will live for another day. Now the Malians with this army. Not sure where, where he wanna check. Maybe he wants to check the gold here. Maybe he just needs to protect that gold. Now it's gonna be really hard. There is no keep for the Malians. Meaning, uh, once the Malians get in, uh, the Japanese get inside of here, of your base, it's gonna be really hard to deal with them. Now, in theory, javelin throwers should be a very good job. Should do a very good job against those units. But Samurais have so much range armor. It's like six. Six, six range armor, only a castle each unit, meaning the javelin throwers. Let's see if we can find one now. They have six damage, meaning they will only do one damage against against the samurai. That's how low it is. We see more towers going on for the Japanese. Remember, Japanese don't have access to keeps. Shogunate Castle has been built and now this this area of the map it's gonna be really hard to contest with this castle here. Supply pretty equal for bot player sitting in 170 something. Sofa Warriors will have to deal will have to deal with the Onabugeshas. Now, no siege for the Malians, unfortunately. There is like brute force. And I remember I remember a match I had where I was just winning and suddenly war, one revolt the queen changed everything. Only one of them destroyed my whole army. And I couldn't believe it. Only one siege can change a lot of things. And now we see the counter attack for the first time, the Japanese entering into the Malian space. It's gonna be deal with pure infantry units. Mixed with horsemen, mixed with Onabugeisha, have everything here. I'm gonna protect those, but those Mangonels. Was coming in this side of the map, but looks like it's gonna get spotted. Looks like the sacred site won't be captured in the north. And with a Japanese aging up with the castle of the crow, it's gonna be here. 
next to the big gold vein and an economic landmark that can potentially get you a lot of resources. More upgrades going for the second town center. He went for another second town center. I wonder where, where it is. It's going to be here. It's going to be here in the back of his base. Nice and safe. He's aging up. But the opponent just attacks on the worst time possible. And looks like he will retreat to his base for the moment. Imperial Age going for Japanese. And now it's now or never. The Malians need to make a big push here. No siege for the Malians, only one Springle being made. Now it looks like it's gonna be in the south of his base where he's most vulnerable. And now the raids will will start with the sofas. Malians are already sitting with 55 villager kills. But he's gonna get surrounded by the Japanese army in the back. And it's gonna be horseman, it's gonna be samurais, and it's gonna be the nightmare of the Malians. It's gonna be the Magonel. Imperial Age going on for the Malians but he's fighting uh, he's already fighting with Castle Age upgrades Samurai is not being upgraded yet on obligations being elite but not all the units are upgraded it looks like this fight will be won by the Japanese here numbers looking pretty solid 83 military numbers, 9k military army value coming for the Japanese. And now he cleans an army of over 100 units. In a blink of, of an eye, samurais on Abugeshas, horsemen, doing a really nice job. This must be so frustrating for the Malians. They already killed so many villagers, managed to get into the base so many times, and yet Japanese still able to hold this. Now more so far warriors are here, but it's not gonna be enough. I, let me tell you, there's not gonna be another raid coming here. What I'm curious is about the where, where, where is the thing that goes into how much resources it gives? Because it should give at least 600 each resource. Having elite sofas. But he's gonna, he's gonna find the castle of the crowd. Those fire rockets. Gonna be really annoying here. And now the Samurais. Gonna do quite good against this army. F focus on Musafari warriors, archers, and spearmen. We see already hand cannoneers. Well, it's a Musafari gunner, actually. By the way, which landmark he went for? It's we went for a Griot Barra. Increased military production speed. Now I haven't seen this in a. I I think it's the first time I see this landmark. That looks like it's gonna be too late. The Japanese are already in your base. 100 military units, look at this. Everyone's going there, except these guys. Stuck. These guys are just chilling. 
and for the first time Japanese managed to get inside the Malian base. 19 villager kills and counting. It's a huge loss for the Malians. Now the Musafari Gunners are dealing quite a good damage here. Horseman raiding here and with that GG gets called Japanese wins this match surprisingly incredible defense coming from the Japanese Thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a like and subscribe to watch more